Hi, my name is Stephen McGee. I'm the author of this book called Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into toys, children's toys, and the radio waves that come out of these toys. Um, we have a wide variety of toys that I've purchased over the last couple of weeks just to see exactly how they perform around a standard AM radio that is tuned in to static. And we're going to pick up some radio waves of some of these toys, which you're going to hear. So, we're using a standard AM radio, uh, any AM radio will do. And this one's tuned in to 530 on the AM band. And it can be tuned into anywhere on the AM band, just as long as there's no radio station there. So, we're, we're in 530 because the, it's very quiet in this area. So, I'm going to turn on the radio. And we're going to start testing these toys. So this is a toy that I picked up. It's a flashing light kind of thing that perhaps kids may have when they're walking around at night time. Let's see what it does. Okay, the light is on. It doesn't affect the radio at all. So we're going to the next setting, which is our blue and red flashing light. You can actually hear that's making the radio click in line with the flashing. So if your child was walking around with this light they would actually be having EMI effects induced into them. And here it is on its full setting. And we can see that on that setting it doesn't do anything to the radio. Something similar is this one. This is the kind of thing that they may have if they're riding the bicycle around. Very interesting. Uh, this has a few settings. This one, see, there's maybe a six inch radio field that comes out of this, and it varies according to what the lights are actually doing. Okay, so that's that flashing light. So, here's an electric toothbrush that your child may use. So we have a field that extends perhaps about a foot out of that, and it's quite, quite a large field. So this looks quite harmless, it's a little LED sword, it's the kind of thing you might give a baby in a pram. Let's see what it does.
as you can see, there's a wide variety of fields coming out of this, and uh, it's probably not suitable for around young children. So here we have a clock, standard clock, has a battery in the back of it. Let's see what this does. So you can actually hear that it's making the radio click in line with the movement of the second hand. So you definitely have a small radio field coming out of this. So this is a book light, so you clip it onto your book and you can read your book in very dark locations. See what it does. So you can hear it. that the on off switch actually creates radio waves. So when it's actually on, it doesn't seem to create any interference. So this is probably not so bad. So your child may have a scientific calculator. Now this is a graphing calculator. And let's see what it does when we put it by the radio. So we can see that it's actually producing the radio field. So the buttons don't really seem to do anything but just it being switched on. It's giving us a nice radio field. And here's a digital clock. Let's see what this does. So we can see that the field actually appears to be larger coming out of the front than the back. So this again is something that you would probably want to be wary of. Probably wouldn't want that next to your head, not your bed. Now I have a, a very cheap calculator. This is like 99 cents. Let's see what it does. So it has a radio field, quite a small radio field, but it's there, and the buttons don't seem to have any effect when you press them. So here's a typical child's watch, let's see what this one does. This is actually pretty good. It doesn't seem to give out any radio waves. So something to be aware of is some watches do actually give out radio waves. So here's a little handheld video game. So it has a small field around it. This is a blackjack game.
Does it have a feel coming out of it? So this is a poker game. So as you can see, it has a very large feel, this particular hand poker game. So you probably wouldn't want that around your kids. Got another calculator right here. Now this is a four line display calculator. Let's see what this does. So you can see that this may be a four inch field coming out of this. Probably a calculator that you wouldn't want around your children. And here we have a little simple car, a little uh, handheld controller. So you see that this is something that uh, the handheld controller is certainly putting out a lot of radio waves as well as the car. And that would be in your child's hand and be connecting radio waves into their body. So, not so good. And here's our final car. It's a little uh, radio control car. In fact, this one is actually a conventional car. And you see the conventional toys don't actually do anything. They don't run on batteries, so they don't give out any EMI. So these are the kind of toys that you probably are okay to have around your children. There won't be any effects from EMI on this. And, uh, yeah, it's one of the things I would recommend that around small children that you don't actually purchase these toys that are powered by batteries or may have electrical waves coming out of them because uh, they may be an issue around your children. And we've got one last thing here. Uh, we're just going to see what this does. This is a radio control unit. Uh, let's see what it does around the radio. As you can see, it puts out radio waves. So, pretty much all the electrical and electronic toys throughout radio waves is uh, something to be aware of around your children. And if you want to find out more about the subject, it is actually called electromagnetic hypersensitivity and radio wave sickness. So, if you have these products around your children, they may actually go on to develop those conditions. And it also may cause problems with the actual development from uh, a baby through to adulthood. And uh, this is extensively documented by a man called Dr. John Nash Art. He has written a number of books on the subject and he has one book that I would recommend that you read if you're interested to find out more. And it's called Health and Light. 
and uh, he found extensive uh, effects regarding children and children's behavior around electronic and electrical products. So it's something to be aware of, you know, Christmas is coming up and uh, my advice to you would be until this subject is documented further, uh, that I would advise you to purchase the traditional toys that don't use batteries and don't use electricity. Uh, they're far better for your children and also keep your children away from the anything that can produce electrical or electronic fields that may affect them. So I wish you the very best and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.